Again, this is the 84th meeting. The only other opponent that Miami has played more, Brian, is Florida State. Balls in the air and controlled by the Hatters in the black, Canes in the white, green, and orange. To his scoring production of 15 and a half points per game. Wardenberg down the lane and he lays it in. And got bumped on the way to the rim. As a big, can face up, put a lot of pressure, and you see his ability for the blow by. And the Johnston. Wong defending him. Now Perry. And that rattles home for a three. Wardenberg stepping back for three. A little too strong. Canes keep it alive with McGusty swooping in. And it'll drop. In the opening moments against the Hatters. In fact, they only took two shots and missed them both. Jones inside. Had the position. Donnie Jones does have a victory to his credit against Miami when he was the head coach at Central Florida. And that was back in 2013. Perry driving and scoring. He got by Wardenburg. And you see a lot of times being able to put your head down and get for the blow by. We got a good one right now. Great defense possession by Miami. They were able to chase Stetson off of those threes. See the ball going east to west. McGusty pumping up a three ball and knocking it down. Chemistry a couple times, not Ryan, sure, what he's got. Not sure if you know my, my connection. In my tech days, I narrowed it down to Virginia when Jim was an assistant under Terry Holland. Good addition to the lineup. Inside, the turnaround will drop. Josh Smith. Cook a lot of dribbling and he loses it. Poplar. Around his defender finish. and he lays it in. Freshman Wugga Poplar. The highlight move. Long rising up to grab that one. One on four. Trying to do the same. Oh, and he calculates baby. the angle. What a finish. And again, Poplar not falling in. Having to scramble, one of the things that Donnie Jones talked about is that he's got to try to disrupt Miami. Miami doing a better job of disrupting. The best way to attack that zone is get into the middle. Walker being able to explode to finish at the rim. First two points of the game for Walker. Gusty is the Kings leading scorer with eight. That's a three-pointer. 30 made threes on the season. That is tops on the club for the Hatters. And Johnston from three-point real estate. Miami has one of its own at the other end. Bensley Joseph. Johnston trying to free up for a shot. Moore poked it away. Moore back to Wardenburg. Filling the lane and laying it in. Perry. Swenson. They collaborate. Three from Perry. Canes have 51 victories in this series in its 84th position. Try to slide it inside. That's good patience there from Jawara. First two for Muhammadu Jawara. We go back out to Wong. Wide open. You can count it. As you've certainly, without a doubt, seen, schedules have been altered in and around the ACC in college basketball. Nice read by Swenson being able to come off that double pick in. Near interception by Moore. Perhaps creating an opportunity at the other end for Johnston. Wow. Quick release, and it's on net. How about Stenson with a quick five points, being able to narrow that lead? Miami has missed its last five shot attempts. Wardenburg, three ball. Um, glass half full all the time, bro. Absolutely. Great passing from the Hatters. It's an easy bucket, Jones. Great recognition by Smith, realizing he had Jones cutting behind. Johnston has that neon green three-point light whenever he sees some daylight. McGusty also has it for Miami. McGusty now 150 career three-pointers, and Wardenburg has gone over 500 points for his career, but slipping inside. Moore drew the defenders. McGusty, on, McGusty. holding the follow through Rose for the cam and for the picture. <laughs> Second half of action with the Canes in front, 39-26. Working on the interior, McGusty driving to the basket. Knocking down that three puts a lot, makes it a lot easier for him to be able to open up that drive. We were tied once in the first half, and Miami led the rest of the way. That's a hard-earned two right there from Jawara. Wong extending the range, missing the shot, pops around. Wong quickly to it. Preserving the possession. Here's Moore. Wow. Give up the steal, and then Moore comes down and drains the three. 
First points of the game for Charlie Moore. Johnston, quick release three, and he rocks the rim. Miami as well if they played, if not been an extended, he said nice little movement, like Wong not being able to finish. They flip it around to McGusty. He's open for a three. Well defended there by Miller. McGusty's open. Stop it. Another one. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah, McGusty is like, I'm filling. And again, we talked about Wong and McGusty as far as that dynamic duo. Definitely on display, and Moore is the guy that's helped so much. And you see, nice knockdown. Wardenberg to kick out and Moore. Well behind the line. Oh, ripping the ropes, Charlie Moore. Miami is now four of six on three-point shots this half. Perry with the shot clock winding down. Miller tried to defend him. Perry got the bounce. Stetson comes into the game, winners of their last two. Uphill climb to get back into this one, but that will help. Tapped it out to Moore. McGusty, this is a three ball. Another oh. one. I am on it. Cam McGusty. You know the next one. He's just got to throw it up. That's, that's a heat check. Got this. Has not missed from outside the arc. Driving basket for Swenson. And that's a three. Not at the ball game right now. Jones over the double team, and he hit it. Nice pull-up jumper by Jones. Bought about three. Ball doesn't touch the floor until it gets to Wong. And that's a three-ball corner pocket. Poplar had a near steal. Jones. Oh, that's two defenders, and that one is a wedgie. <laughs> on the defensive play. Good defense by Smith, not biting on the fake. Perry took the pass, accelerates to the rim, it was knocked away. We were tied very early. Miami's had the lead the vast majority of the evening inside Watsco Center. Johnston! Yeah, there he is. That's a counterclockwise swirl down the net. 34 made threes on the season now for Johnston. Best on the Hatters. Wong, he's got the answer. Wong's got 11 points on the strength of three three-point baskets. Mm. A three at the other end is Johnston. We'll see if Wong tries to tee up another three to match him. Right back out to Poplar. That's a three. He said those guys being able to get the playing time and be able to finish. Jones. 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 Out another three. Good press break. You don't dribble the ball through it. Ball doesn't hit the floor. Wong. Wardenberg got the defender in the air. Oh, All the way big to the rim. fella. Big fella being able to finish at the rim. Hatter's able to save it in front of their own bench. Oh, oh. What about that play? Isaiah Wong over to Cam McGusty. This is the largest lead of the night for Miami. McGusty with 27 points to lead all scorers. A very soft, kind bounce for Perry here at Moscow Center. McGusty is 9 of 10 shooting. For those 27 points, 6 of 6 on three-pointers. Wong reversing field. Put some touch on that one over the big man. 3.45 to go in the second half. Shot clock to seven. Three from the corner. Rattles home for Christian Jones. Wardenberg also has four. This is after four guys got their season highs in rebounding in the win against Fordham. He contemplated uh, putting that one up. They also lead on the boards, 36-29. Moore with the pirouette and two. Long rebound. Collected by Stetson. Jawara. A tumbling again? Tumbling Hadn't made again. a three all season. Oh, wow. Maybe they've discovered a new score from beyond the arc. Tumbling had been 0 for 3 on 3 Oh, my. Oh, oh, oh. Around the cones and to the rim. For Augusti on three point attempts. Final 16 seconds. Tumbling again. So Miller to dribble it out. And that'll do it. The final count, 82-72.